Right guys, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews, being the best in model kit reviews. How are you all doing? How are you all keeping? Um, this video is going to be a special video um, because I've got a really awesome kit that I wanted to keep right at the end of the video. And what I mean by that is it's it's a really good kit. It's a new tooling kit. It's a kit I've been after for a while now. So the kit I'm showing you today, guys, and everyone else on the channel is the Airfix 172nd scale Vickers Wellington and it's a Mark 1A-C or whatever it says on there and it's one I wanted because I've never had a Wellington I, I, I have had a Wellington on Revell but I've never had one on Airfix and I thought I'll get one on Airfix and it says there on the night of July the 7th 1941 Sergeant pilot James Allen Ward climbed through the Astrodrome and onto the wing of his damaged Wellington and attempted to smother an enter <laughs> attempted to smother an entire fire, fighting both of the slipstream and the flames. He extinguished the fire and then climbed back into the aircraft. For his brave action, he was awarded the Victoria Cross. <laughs> the Victoria Cross. Wow. So basically, wow! I didn't even know that. <laughs> but the hell, he attempted to smother an engine fire. And he fighting both the slipstream and the flames. He extinguished the fire. And then climb back into the aircraft. <laughs> he was uh, uh, well done, well done, well done, Sergeant Pilot James Allen Ward. <laughs> well done to you, sir. <laughs> definitely, definitely deserved the award for that. Wow. So this is free flying hours, if anybody's interested, and. We've got 141 pieces in this aircraft. So, let's have a little look. And it's a new tooling. Yes, get in. So, I mean, why I wanted to show the kit in the first place. What I mean by the new tooling is the red, the red writing and the red background where it's all shaded. And you can see they've put some green in there as well. Can you see that? Awesome. Wow. Love it. I don't know how many stages this one goes up to, guys, but this is outstanding. Look at that. I mean, OMG alert. <laughs> the detail is absolutely amazing. I mean, that's inside. That's what, you, that's what it looks like inside the actual plane. Look at all the bone structure and... Oh wow! I can't wait to do this one. Just look, just look at that. <laughs> wow, my God! And then it goes on to the engines, and it's got some information there. When building the model with the undercarriage. In the down position, follow steps 31 and 37 on page 8 and miss out the steps 38 to 44 on page 9 and step 49 on page 11. Okay. It's got a lot of numbers there. That's a bit confusing. <laughs> but, wow. I mean, come on. It's just so much detail. I mean, I've never known... a. I've never known a little small aircraft to have so much detail to it. This is mind blowing. This is going to take a long time. This one, I think I'm definitely going to be saving this one. I do want to build it. I really do want to build it, but it's going to take absolutely forever. And um, I don't know. Maybe it might be a thing over Christmas, and maybe I might do it. I don't know. I'll uh, keep you all informed, but it's going to take quite a long time. By the time I've finished every last bit of detail on this aircraft. 
And would you believe it? I kid you not. It goes to a hundred pages. Well, not a hundred pages. Sorry, a hundred steps. So you've got a hundred steps to do in order to build that. Oh my god! And the booklet's quite thick as well. <laughs> good god. Um. Let's have a little look at the. Uh, the colour chart here. So we do have a colour chart. And this is the colour chart. So we've got Norfolk, England, 7th of July 1941. Uh, New Zealand Squadron. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing that one. On. Uh, I might do this one. Which is Air Force Lossie Mouth, Scotland, December 1940. Aircraft recovered from Loch Ness in 1985 and now on display at Brooklyn's Museum of Motor Racing and Aviation in Surrey, England. Wow. So it's actually recovered. So it gives you two variants. Ah, right. I don't know though. I think I'll do that one. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to go for. The RAA one there. Just because this one here... Sergeant Pilot James Allen Ward, and he was awarded the Victoria Cross, so I'm going for this one. Uh, just because, just because I have to, guys, because I have to. <laughs> uh, these are the decals. Now, I don't expect them to be amazing, amazing, but they're good for what they are. Yeah, decals are decals, guys, as long as they go on. Who cares? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Um, here we go. So this is the cockpit glass. And the, there we go. Big cockpit glass part there. We've got the other glass there. So yeah, we, you know what you get with that. It's bagged up so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. You know Airfix like to put everything in one bag. But for some reason in this kit, I think what's happened is Dave's took the bags out and he's got the bags for himself, basically. I don't know why, but, yeah, you can kind of see that they're not bagged up. So, Dave, you being a naughty boy. <laughs> You'll probably laugh at me there. Um, so, there we go, guys. Wow. Straight away you can see... The difference on this kit, no raised panel lines like on the last couple of ones that I reviewed. And it just looks miles better. I mean, what? <laughs> look at that. Even the Bombay doors look better as well. And that's on the inside of it. <laughs> wow. That's really impressive. I've got to say I'm really impressed with that. Um... So two fuselages, both exact same, brilliant, can't fault with that. And then, yep, you know what you're getting with the actual, you're getting that texture on the wings as well, which is awesome. So not only have they put that inside the aircraft, the, the fuselage, they've put it on the wings as well. And then you've got the bone structure that goes inside, pretty neat. So, and then we've got the others, which is the same. So we've got the bottom part of the wings there, which you get that same sort of checkered sort of thing. And then you get some more detail there. And you get the engine cowlings. There's some more engine cowlings there. Then you get the wing tips at the end, the flaps for the ailerons and stuff. And then you get my engine cowlings, I believe. There's your, there's your propellers, which are very, very nice. And there you go, there's the engines. Turn that around to review the engines. There we go. Not bad, Airfix, not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed for a small aircraft. This is really impressive. I mean, wow, look at all that. Look at the, the look at the interior. <laughs> wow. 
Airfix have really stepped up the game since the last couple of years. I love that these Airfix kits are amazing, the detail on them. You want to know what, guys? I'm so impressed with this kit. I really, really am. Just look at that. I mean, wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm so impressed with this kit. I really am with everything. The decals down to the instruction manual, down to the actual kit itself. You know it. Yeah, it's amazing guys, it really really is. So we've got one, two, three, four, come on, five, so yeah guys we've got like five sprues and then you get the cockpit glass on top of that as well. Then you've got the colour chart, the decals, the manual. That's pretty impressive, guys. That really is impressive. And to be honest with you guys, for an Airfix kit, I really, really am impressed with that. Cannot fault it at all. Um, so I want to thank you, Dave, for sending me such an awesome kit. Appreciate it, mate, so much. And that was my review of the Vickers Wellington. And if I was to give this kit a rating, for what it is, I would give this one because I'm really, really impressed with it. I'm over the moon with it, actually. For what it is, for what it's worth, on the money-wise of it, I'm not quite sure. I reckon around about £45, something like that. Maybe 40 quid. I'm not sure, along those lines. But for what it's worth, guys, a solid 10 out of 10 this kit is absolutely outstanding it is worth every penny go out there buy it you won't regret it guys the awesome detail on it it's amazing i have never seen a kit as small as it is with so much detail it's amazing definitely definitely buy guys go out buy it definitely i want to thank each and every one of you for watching my channel for support me like i like you have been doing over the years i'm absolutely amazed at all the people who've subscribed honestly it knocked me for six i can't believe i've got that far i never thought i would but i want to thank each and every one of you i hope that you all stay safe and i hope you all love the videos that i'm going to upload throughout the christmas period there's a lot more coming along the way I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And I'm going to be here throughout it all. And obviously I'll see you all in probably January whenever I do. But make sure to look after yourselves, guys. Take care of yourselves and have a wonderful Christmas and a happy New Year. There's all the best from MJT Reviews. Thanks so much, guys. Peace out. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. And Merry Christmas.